March 3rd, 1992. Fasola writes, In my times of persecutions. Lord, I have not spoken in secret. All I say is in prayer and in your assembly praising you. I am trying to obey your sacred heart and the instruction I received from you. I do my best to display them as they were given me. Although I am poor and can hardly give you anything, I have given you the only thing I have, and you have told me is mine. I have offered your majesty my will, that you may use it, if it pleases you, for your merciful designs. The Lord speaks. I know, my child, but have they not also hated me for no reason? Anyone who issues from me to witness for the truth will be hated, persecuted and hunted like game. A servant is not greater than his master. These persecutors would be blameless in the father's eyes if they had not known my law. But as it is, they have seen my law, yet only in darkness. They call themselves doctors of the law and believe they know everything. But in reality, they know nothing. They think that by judging you and condemning you in public, that they are doing a very holy duty for me, your God. Had they followed my commandments and kept them, they would not have judged. Had they any love in them, they would have kept my words and my law. But in reality they are not judging you. They are judging my good works on all, on you all. I have only commissioned you to go out and be my echo. In being my echo I expect you to bear fruit, fruit that will last. But they have not understood. My child, continue to do the work I have commissioned you for. Bring souls to me that I may consume them in my sacred heart. I am thirsty for souls. Listen, the evidence of my holy works are shining on you all, to take away this darkness. The evidence of my holy works are their good fruit, fruit that lasts. The evidence of my holy works is the gift of peace I am giving you, and the love I am infusing you with. The evidence of my holy works is my salvation calls to the Eucharistic life. The Father and I want true worshippers, worshippers who will worship in spirit and truth. My spirit of truth descends all the way to your doorstep to remind you that in the end our two hearts will prevail. This is to fulfil the words written in scriptures. After three and a half days, God breathed life into them and they stood up. The footnote reads Revelation 11 verse 11. Yes, in all glory, for these are the two anointed ones. The footnote reads Zechariah 4 verse 14 who stand side by side. Our two hearts are like two olive trees, one to the right and one to the left. The footnote reads Zechariah 4 verse 3. My sacred heart has fathomless riches and many things to say to you all, my little children. I am the resurrection and the life. I come to resurrect your devotion to my sacred heart and the immaculate heart of your mother. So do not fear, stay on your guard, for many will come using my name, manipulated by the evil one, to deceive you and blow away the little flame left in you and leave you in total darkness. Many will fall away because their roots were not in me, Pray that you may not be tempted by the evil one. 
Alas for you who continue to persecute my mouthpieces, saying, We would never have joined in shedding the blood of the prophets had we lived in our father's day. I tell you, all of this will recoil on your heads unless you repent. My beloved children, the burglar comes by night. The footnote reads, That means Satan comes in a dark soul much easier. So stay awake and do not allow him to break in your house. Be constant in prayer to me. To pray without ceasing is to be aware of my presence before you. To be aware of my presence is to be awake. To be awake is to be with light and with sound. Your house is your soul. See to it then that the light inside you is not darkness. Do not let the tempter find you asleep. You are my friends, remember? Love one another as I love you. Anything you will ask in my name I shall give you. Some of you today are sad because the world is passing premature judgment on my sacred heart and the immaculate heart of your mother. But soon, our two hearts will show the world how wrong it was about judging. When I will reveal my holy face, the footnote reads, that is, in the purification day, when we will see our sins with God's eyes. When I will reveal my holy face in them. Daughter, write. When I break, when I will break the sixth seal, there will be a violent earthquake, and the sun will go as black as coarse sackcloth. The moon will turn red as blood all over, and the stars of the sky will fall on the earth like figs dropping from a fig tree when a high wind shakes it. The sky will disappear like a scroll rolling up, and... All the mountains and islands will shake from their places. Then all the earthly rulers, the governors and the commanders, the rich people and the men of influence, the whole population, slaves and citizens, will take to the mountains to hide in the caves and among the rocks. They will say to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us away from the one who sits on the throne and from the anger of the Lamb. The footnote reads, Revelation 6, verse 12 to 17. Here Jesus indicates plainly that in the day of purification everyone in the world will experience his state of his soul and again everyone will recognise the Lamb, meaning Jesus. The Lord continues, For the great day of my purification is soon upon you, and who will be able to survive it? Everyone on this earth will have to be purified. Everyone will hear my voice and recognise me as the Lamb. All races and all religions will see me in their interior darkness. This will be given to everyone like a secret revelation to reveal the obscurity of your soul. When you will see your insides in this state of grace, you will indeed ask the mountains and the rocks to fall on you. The darkness of your soul will appear as such that you would think the sun lost its light and the moon too turned into blood. This is how your soul will appear to you. But in the end you will only praise me. If a stranger comes your way and tells you that the food, the footnote reads, these messages, I have been giving you is vile, do not listen to him. Listen to the language of my sacred heart, the language of my cross, Let your fidelity to my sacred heart bloom once more. Consecrate yourselves all to my sacred heart 
and the Immaculate Heart of your Mother. I will be visiting you again, my little children. So courage, my friends. You are hounded, but it is only by the world. You are insulted for my sake. Rejoice, for I was too. You are treated as the offal of the world because you love me. I bless you and join you in your sufferings. You are the jest of your people, but so was I, your king. You are not more than me, your master. My secret intentions are revealed now in your dormant times. The revelation of my sacred heart is revealed in these end of times again to awaken your hearts and bring you all back fervently to this devotion. So among you there must be no premature judgment. Love me and bless me. I am always with you and I will continue to reveal the riches of my sacred heart in each one of you. Vasula, my child, I shall strengthen your stem and replace the petals your accusers ripped off from you to give you this joy I feel whenever you offer me your will. Love loves you. Signed, Ich this. Jesus Christ, God's Son and Saviour.